And three, two, one, now. Hi, I'm Lewis Lightning. Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We are here in the dwarven city of Orzammar. We are just searching around, talking to a few people, and we're still going to probably be doing that for a while yet, because we only searched like one side of this place, not even fully yet. Brother Verkle. <coughs> Maker's blessing on you, brother. Uh, may his divine spirit always light your way. Ah, it's a great pleasure to meet a fellow believer. I just guessed. I'm Brother Verkle of the Red Cliff Chantry. Returned to my ancestors' land Cliff? to spread the chant of light. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. He's pretty ugly looking. But don't dwarves worship their ancestors or something? There is resistance. It's obvious the world wasn't created by the mortal souls who dwelt within it. Yet the dwarves of Orzammar persist in worshipping their own forefathers. Hmm. Whose permission do you need to open a chantry? The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. You want me to talk to him for you? Oh, I'd hoped you'd say that. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. It, you know, I know I just said he was ugly and it's going to sound mean, but he reminds me a little bit of Toby from The Office. Uh, nothing over here. Can't go in this building. And Dust Town. Sure, why not? <coughs> um, yeah, so we... Right now, I'm not sure. The way I played this before, I know who I picked. Haramont comes off uh, as the much better of the two. I mean, we just seen Balin supporter kill a guy when we got in here. And everyone's saying that Haramont's good, and he was the one picked by King Endrin. So it seems like Haramont's the one to go with. Although, Balin is Dust Town thug leader. I see enemies ahead. A rich one. We'll get plenty for their kid once we cut them out of it. Uh, I'll try to go for the weak one. Flurry this a hole. Where are you, Devon? Wow, that's a big sword for Devon. I was a leader. I think that's a big team. These dudes. Sitting there shooting arrows at us. I don't know how Wind used all her magic. But, oh, maybe uh, is everyone going to kill? Dust Town Thug had just cash, I guess. Rubble, so I was trying to see. An explanation of the cast list. Is anything over here? No. We could go and read all these things, but I, I don't want to bore you guys with reading. If you happen to be playing along with me, I do talk about most of this stuff here, uh, and I do read a few things, but if you're playing along, I would suggest just read it yourself. That way, I, I'm not wasting your time with stuff you're going to be reading anyways. Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. Uh, I'm a Grey Warden. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. I'd have to hear. Uh, no offense, but your kings have some laws that don't make sense in a practical kind of world. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrian, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man, name's Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of his stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead, at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And, uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. 
Uh, I want to try to persuade him. I do want the money. And, I mean, he's kind of right. Why is it that they get to decide who gets to use Lyrium or not? It must be dangerous if you're paying so much. More so for someone like you, I guess. Most dwarves born down here have a natural immunity. Other races, there are problems if they spend too long with the ore. The real issue is that Lyrium's valuable. It's only found down here, and human mages can't work without it. I'll try to persuade him. 50's a bit much when you got no options. 40. You haggle like a merchant born. Deal. Here's the Lyrium, then. You, uh, probably don't want to take it out of the box. I'll be waiting for the next order somewhere out of sight. Say, just around the corner. So, if you remember, Godwin was... Wow, that's a lot of money gone. Godwin was the guy hiding in that armoire or cabinet in the mage tower. So we can go back and talk to him. Easily. And we might have to leave. Well, no, we don't have to leave. Whoever you're looking for, it's not me, I swear. But, I mean, we'll have to go and sell some stuff, I think. We're getting pretty heavy in our inventory. Or at least put some stuff away from the gifts we bought. Alamar. What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. This doesn't look like a store. Well, our business is kind of covert, if you know what I mean. It's illegal in Orzammar for me to engage in protected trade. But they look the other way if I share things with my friends. For money. Now let's see, I have some spare equipment. We'll Why don't you me. take a look? That crossbow I picked up I don't really want. It doesn't have anything special about it. Uh, he's got some, like, Ash Warrior Axe and Crow Dagger. And the Orlesian Bow and then Teven Crossbow has to have come from outside. Same thing with Crow Shield. If he had some arrows... he got fire arrows. But I was hoping for ice arrows. I could use those on, uh, whatchamacallit. Flemeth next time we fight. Backhands. More backstab damage, which would be good for Zevran. Uh, efforts boots. And if you look at the bottom, it says, The rampant griffin on the gr of the Grey Wardens is stamped on the inside of these well-made armored boots. When equipped in a set with effort armor and gloves and a helm called duty, check the character's spells challenge costs less to activate. So that's the bonus we have. We get the whole set. And some more stuff here. Nothing, nothing. You got any flasks? No flasks. And a remarkable amethyst. We'll get that as well. Oh, that's all he's got that we want. So we'll leave. So I guess Dust Town is where all the castless and the criminals live. Did we talk to this beggar? Whoever you're yeah, looking we did. for, it's not me, I swear. I see the way they all look at me. They think I'm less than dirt. We're living like a hobo. She's a beggar. Assembly directive. It's a beggar over here. I'll just get out of your way. Can't go in the building. Idle dwarf. Your clothes are so fancy. Did you get them topside? Uh, yeah, I did. My ma'am used to say they don't got no stone to protect them topside. If I go up there, I'm going to fall into the sky. Mm. No, that doesn't happen. Yes. <laughs> when my dot left, he never came back. Who's to say he didn't fall up, eh? I have to go now, don't idiot. Don't fall into the sky when you go back up there. You don't fall to the roof of this cave, do you? Fucking moron. Stuff over there. Beggar. You got a crust of bread to spare. A human? What's a human doing down here? Nedesda. Nedesda? Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine-dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. Yeah, I'll give her five silvers. Well, thank you truly, my lord. That's right good of you. It takes a stranger to notice how bad things are, huh? No dwarf would lift a sodding finger. Excuse my language. What takes you out of the diamond quarter, stranger? I haven't been there. Is that advice you're looking for old Nadezda to fill? How did you get crippled? I'd say it was an accident to try to get some sympathy coin, but you look like you'd rather hear the truth. 
I was running protection for the Carta when some guardsmen caught me. Duster I was with had coin for a bribe, but I took a stand. Guardsmen broke my sodding kneecaps and had me kneel in dung until the infection set in. Never healed proper. Gross. What's a Carta, though? Well, now I know you're not from here. The Carta's who runs Dust Town. Jarvi has got her boys everywhere. They tell you, and you jump, because they're the only ones with the coin and the steel to get whatever they want. Like what you said, now I know you're not from here. Well, I'm a freaking human. Of course I'm not from here. Where's a body go to get drunk around here? <laughs> if you have that kind of coin, Sal Roca, you don't want to drink what they've got here. Take yourself up to Tapsters. Long as your face isn't branded, they've got anything you want. What do you mean by brand? Means you don't exist. It tells everyone who sees you not to work with you, not to serve you, and not to care if you're hurt. The Deep Lords burn it into us the day we're born, so no one accidentally oversteps her place. I should get going now. I'll just stay out of your way then. She's got a lot of bottles over by her. She's, eating, she's getting something to drink. Uh, can't go in that building. There's someone over here, a beggar. You looking for some excitement, honey? You came to the right place. Uh, no thanks, not you. Go in here too, but I want to see what this guy's got. Spare for a bit for the need. Have you a coin to spare, my lord? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Uh, here's five silvers. Buy yourself a meal. Thank you. That a stranger would care so much when my own family barred me from their halls unless I'm willing to. But no. I can't bear to even think of it. What does your family want you to do? Or is there some way I can help? I wish there were. My name is Erlenda. I wasn't always like this. I was born to a mining caste family. We weren't wealthy, but I never went hungry before. Now it's all gone. And it's my own fault. Ancestors curse me, but there's nothing I can do to set it right. What happened? fell in love. He seemed so exotic, you know? Tough and smart, and never had to bow his head to anyone. He was castless, and I think... No, I know he was just trying to father a higher caste child so he could petition for status. But our child was a son, castless like his father. My parents disowned me and stripped my caste from me. Sucks. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. Maybe I could reason with your family. You, you would do that? But why? I don't like to see child suffer. Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapster's in the evening. I do not think he will listen to you. But I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promise. I said I'd try to help. Win approved. Suspicious door. This door appears to be made of solid stone. There are no visible means of opening it. A closer inspection, there is a small slot concealed in a fold of, st of the stone, just big enough for a finger. Look through the slot. You see nothing but blackness. Do nothing. Uh, we're getting close to our time here. We'll go check this other place out, and then we'll have to head back, it looks like. There's nothing else down here. Slum's house. Nothing here. There's a chest. Two chests. Let's see if Zebron can open either. All yes, he did. Open. Dwarven armor. New dagger. Sweet. We can sell that dagger. Sell the armor too, probably. Um, I think I'm gonna head to Soldier's Peak if I can, real quick, just to end this video, probably. I do want to go to Tapsters, but we. I don't want to go over long in this video, so I'll head to Soldier's Peak. I think I can make it there in time. We can drop off some of these gifts. Actually, you know what? I know where some of these gifts can be used. Uh, but I still don't want to use them here. Ah, I guess I'll go to Soldier's Peak. So that's where I'm going to take it. And that's where I'll cut it. Just so I can drop some stuff off. Um, like the some of the gifts I bought here. I know that was my own fault. But whatever. Or we could just go to the campsite and I can give some of these gifts away. Doesn't really matter to me. 
but we'll go to Soldier's Peak because I. Jeez, what do I have? That... Some daggers, Nug Crusher. Oh, yeah, I go to Soldier's Peak. I can sell stuff and I can uh, put some of that bigger stuff, like the Nug Crusher and stuff, into the uh, that stashing chest we have. So yeah, um, that'll be about it. Like I said, we're gonna go to Soldier's Peak, and I'll probably, I'll probably save it there too, unless I have time to come back. But I don't think I will. <coughs> to the mountain pass. This is what sucks with Orzmar. You have to go like all the way out of Orzmar first of all, <coughs> through this hall, and it saves both times. You can see. And then down through all this junk and they talk somewhere over here you know Win, I have a friend back in Antiva who would be very excited to meet you I'm sorry Salveil prefers women with experience and maturity he says they have more substance are more robust and flavorful does he now indeed no need to deny it Zevran knows a fine bird when he sees one I am not a bird there is no reason to deny <laughs> yourself the pleasure of male companionship, after all, yes? You, you might mock now, birds. but I assure you, Salveil is a gentleman of means and quite handsome. I am going to walk away now, calmly, coolly. This is to save you the pain of having your brain forcibly removed through your ears. This must be a Ferelden thing, I swear. Does everyone look so tiny? And these guys will always gossip when you walk by them. And it will also cut off conversations that the other guys are having in your party. But yeah, uh, also, a couple days ago, like, I don't know, probably last weekend actually, I got a 24-hour uh, booster for uh, God of War Ascension. So I might be playing that. Oh, I guess maybe we can go right back to Orzammar. Maybe. We'll go to Soldier's Peak. But yeah, I got 24-hour booster. Two 24-hour boosters. For God of War Ascension, which I'm hoping to use possibly this weekend, maybe even like during the week. But because I have work, I don't really want to waste it. I'll probably hopefully use them Saturday and Sunday, or even Friday. So let's store some stuff here. I'll store this Nug Crusher. Get, get sell these bolts when we get the chance. That's it for that. We'll store. We'll sell it to Warven Armor. Uh, let's see what we got for gifts. I'm gonna store this silverite rune because I know I want to use it, but just not now. Uh, we, st yeah, we're storing all these remarkable gems of different sorts, and alcohol we're storing as well. I think that's all, everything we have. Well, we gotta. S we should really start giving some of this stuff away. Smell of Lyrum takes up a slot too. Let's try to sell some of this stuff real quick. What can I do for you, Warden? Certainly. We'll sell this dagger. These fire bolts. And this dwarven armor. And, uh, I'm going to sell those Dalish gloves too. What can too. I do for you? Certainly. Alright. So I freed up a bit, bit of space. Uh, anyways, I'm going to cut it here and save. We'll head back to Orzmar when I come back. If you enjoyed, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.